Hey guys, kamusta? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while, but as you guys know, I am orienting at my new per diem job as a ED site nurse. My previous per diem job actually is closed down due to closed down temporarily due to the hospital being flooded and everybody got displaced. And I need extra cash, so here I am orienting as a ED site nurse. In this particular video, I am very excited to say that I made a pep point. I think this is better and going forward, I think this is how I'm going to be delivering my updates, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, once every month or what so on. But you guys understand, right? I mean, we're always busy with just life in general, with family, with friends, well, not really with friends but with school, with work, with family, and all that. So, in this particular video, I am very, very excited because I'm doing something different. Um, I usually just take the camera, talk to the camera, edit it, and then upload it, and then, you know, a couple days later, I'm thinking, oh my God, I forgot to tell them this and that. So, going forward, I will be presenting a PowerPoint or a slide to you guys just so I can kind of condense everything and it's more richer as far as information um, and I'm not forgetting anything and if I do forget something I can always just jot it down and I can just update you on the next video right all right as you guys know week four is very very important for those of you who are new to the channel week four and week nine is very very important when i say very important that if you fail okay you're you're done you're done for the class you have to repeat the whole class again um so my suggestion is to you is to over document and for anybody who's been watching and who's been following me since day one um I know you guys probably are tired and sick of me saying it, but week four and week nine is very, very important. That being said, week four assignment number one is a case study, and week four is all about skin assessment, um, the condition. So the case study is going to come from your professor, the faculty member, and you are going to write, and it is a minimum of four pages, not including your cover and not including your reference. Assignment number two, that's what I'm talking about, DCE, which is Digital Clinical Experience. Um, it is going to be Tina Jones, and it is Health History Assessment. Um, three things that you need to pass, okay? Your lab pass, which is, um, you can download that at the end of your virtual um, or digital clinical experience. The actual documentation, which is what we're going to do here, we're going to over document, right? We are going to follow the grid. We are going to follow the rubric down to the T so that you can get a high grade and there's no chance at all that you are failing. Because why? Because we don't have the money or the time to redo this. Don't be like me. I already repeated it. You guys shouldn't be repeating it, all right? You guys know. And the third thing that you guys need to pass is the acknowledgement form, which is downloadable. You just basically sign it and date it. That's pretty much it. So three things that you need to do, okay? The lab pass, the acknowledgement form, and the actual documentation. All right, so the actual documentation actually has a template now. This is something new that they did, um, that they added. Before, it's just like, you know, you're just cut and pasting the your documentation from Shadow Health and submitting that form. But now they added that, so that's cool and great. As you guys can see, I got a 95. I will definitely take a 95. I am not going to... Um, say anything about 95 that's pretty good comparing this from the previous class the the one that I failed um, week four I passed 
as well and I think I got the same grade um, actually um, you know this this particular professor or teacher she is very very critical and very very meticulous I guess there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time it kind of is pissing me off because I mean she just has a lot of time in her hands um, there's probably I would say like about six or eight of us in the class only normally there's more so I guess she likes to read and she likes to put in negative feedback like a lot of negative feedback and she is stingy with her scoring just FYI but you know what at the end of the day I am passing the class I am not aiming for an A plus although I would love to have an A plus that is not my goal this time around my goal is to just pass this class and move on okay so that being said I did find something today and I don't know if you guys know about that for people that are starting this semester or started previously um, in the actual live uh, Walden University portal I am going to show you guys that um, there is if, if you go to the classroom And if you go to your grades, okay, I still check the grades the old-fashioned way instead of going to the um, top right-hand corner, uh, the My Progress Tracker, um, right over here. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of like, I guess, an old-fashioned person. So anyhow, going to my grades. No shame in the game. Here are my grades. Don't judge. Um, seriously, right? A 70. Who gets a 70? Me. Uh, on an assignment. She's very, very tr critical. Anyhow, there is going to be a hyperlink here, and it's a uh, view rubric. And if you really click that, something's going to pop up. Um, so... This is the rubric detail, okay? So you actually have to get it on the actual um, on the actual rubric from the grades, okay? The link on the grades, because that's pretty much attached. And it shows you how you're graded, right? So for example, um, on this particular uh, assignment, which is week four, it's a DCE assignment. Okay, um, this is how she, so this is how she graded me. She gave me 60 points, which is the most that I can get. So it's from 56 to 60. Okay, so she gave me 56 to 60 points, actually 60 points, the most that you can get. This is from the actual, doing the actual activity, okay. And then she gave me an additional 35 points, okay, because the most you can get is a 40 to make 100. Of course, 60 plus 40 is 100, and I only got 95%, so she gave me 35 points for documentation. So this is how you find out on how you were graded, okay? So that's kind of like a, a cool thing that I found out today. All right. So going back to that, um, I wanted to show you guys what she wrote. Basically, um, chief complaint is the reason for office visit in patient's own words, document quality of pain in HPI, document review of system in bullet format. I actually didn't listen. I, I missed this part but you guys are not gonna miss it you guys are going to document review of system in bullet format so you guys can get 40 points okay and then list each system separately 
which obviously I didn't. I just kind of combined everything. You documented ROS and treatment together, overall information included. Review SOAP document format. So she took out five points because of my documentation format. Um, I'll be better though, okay? Moving on. So week five, interesting week. Um, I really was not interested in this particular week. Uh, it's so-so for me. So there's two assignments still. Um, assignment number one, it is a case study. Um, your professor, teacher, will be uh, signing you a case study. There is go it's going to be a SOAP format. So SOAP stands for Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan. But don't worry, there is a sample template that you can download and you can review before you pass it in. Um, Assignment number two is another DCE, Digital Clinical Experience, and it is focusing on cough assessment. Three things that you need to pass, just like the first one, lab pass, actual documentation. There is a template available for you to download, for you to review, so you are not gonna miss anything. And the acknowledgement form. So FYI, the actual documentation, actually on, on this particular week, it's kind of um, just a soap as well, right? Um, it is document, subjective, objective, and then your assessment. There's actually no plan, but I put it in anyways, and guess what? I lost points for that just because I wasn't listening. But anyhow, this is not an important week, however, it is still important for you to keep up with your grades so that you are not swimming or drowning, I should say, for more points at the end, right? So that being said, in week five, um, I got an 86. <laughs> like I said, I really wasn't interested. Um, and according to her, I really didn't follow. I do have an explanation for this. Um, ROS, review of system in bullet format. I get it. However, I actually did all this um, in advance. So when I passed in my week four, I actually passed in my week five as well. So that's the reason, right? Again, I'm sharing this with you guys because I want you guys to do better than me, okay? Um, so yeah, week five, that's it. Going to week six. Week six, assignment and a midterm exam. So assignment is a case study. It is assessing the abdomen. Um, it is what it is, and I think minimum is about four pages, and I just wrote exactly just that. Your professor, your teacher will be providing you with the case study on a Sunday, and you need to pass. You have about six, seven days to write it and pass it in. Midterm exam, a total of 100 total questions. Um, it is based on week one to week six. The study guide is available in week five. And just so you guys know, you can download this in advance. Um, that being said, I got a 87 on that. Um, not bad. I actually scored higher from the previous class um, compared to this one. Um, I felt like this particular exam in this class is a bit harder. Um, so yeah, 87. Not bad. I'm not complaining. I will take it. Thank you very much. Tips and tricks. Um, before we end this video, you guys know, please subscribe. If you guys are watching and you guys like, like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Please like. It would tremendously help me a lot. Um, tips and tricks. Shadow health. 
uh, the required exercise concept lab. Um, so they're doing something different this particular semester or something new going forward. Previously, before there is no required exercise or no required concept lab, it's actually all, um, how would I say this, optional. But now they added that, um, it would take probably between 10 to 15 minutes. Some of them are very informational. Some of them I really, really enjoyed the cardiovascular um, required exercise just because I am not a cardiac nurse. Um, I know the love dub S1, S2 and, you know, distinguishing S1, S2, S3. You know what I mean? S1, S2, S3, S4. So I, I really did enjoy the cardiovascular exercise. Um, you know, there's, there's one in each system. If you have the time, obviously go for it. You don't have to do them, you know, because some are not required, some are just there. Once you buy Shadow Health uh, the program, it is good for one year. You can always come back to it and kind of review it if you want. Or if you have a lot of time in your hands, you can absolutely do the exercises, the optional exercises. Um, second one, work ahead of time. I think this is the, the most important thing, right? Um, working ahead of time. I have a predictable schedule. Um, I, I, I manage, I would have to say that I manage my time very, very well. So there are times, because you know, my full-time job, I work 312s, and sometimes when I schedule them, I kind of cluster, so I would have like a big gap of day off, day, days off. Um, and then, you know, here and there, I'll work my per diem job just as required. But anyways, working ahead of time is very, very important because, like I said, um, I was able to pass in week four, week five, um, and week six, actually, because I did them in week three. I know. Like, I just, I pretty much sat and read and research and wrote, wrote the paper. Number three, redo until you get 100%. So free points. This is the one that I was talking about, like the 60 points, um, Shadow Health. You can, the same one, you don't have to repeat from step one. You can just like come back to it and redo it until you get 100% because that's free points. If you get 100% lab pass, that means that's automatically 60 points, right? So just make sure you take advantage of that. Um, I should do like a separate video on this just so, you know, we can be, it can be more in depth, right? Um, look up class format. So I, I, I hope whoever, um, if you guys are starting the semester or you started previously and I'm just one step ahead of you, I hope every time the classes opens, I hope you guys are looking in advance on what you're supposed to be doing. So that being said, it's just a perfect example. Week five, the case study is actually posted. Um, it's actually a bunch of pictures of skin assessment. So what I'm saying is that you know that in week one, so you can start planning ahead of time in order for you to be successful, right? Um, and I am ending this right now. I hope I didn't forget anything, and I hope you guys enjoyed this version of this video. And as always, if I can do it, so can you. And just so you guys know, I love, 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 love hearing from you guys as far as updates and where you guys are doing. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Paalam!